Good morning, you guys. I wanted to just go through the world record elephant toothpaste to talk through what is actually happening here chemically. Um, so I'm going to let him talk us through what chemicals they used. So for that reason, we decided just to put all the numbers to rest and just go insanely big. So for today's experiment, we're using 625 liters of 35% hydrogen peroxide. Okay. He said 35% hydrogen peroxide, that H2O2. Notice the hydrogen is a nonmetal and the oxygen is also a nonmetal. So when we put two nonmetals together, that makes a covalent bond. Which is 245 liters more than Mark and Science Bob's last attempt, 15 times more than Science Bob's 2018 attempt, and we're also using potassium iodide, the more potent catalyst. Today, okay. So potassium iodide, potassium, is on the left side of the periodic table, so that makes it a metal. Iodine is on the right side, which makes it a nonmetal. And so we'll notice that a metal and a nonmetal combined together is going to make an ionic bond. So right now, on our reactant side, we have a covalent bond plus an ionic bond coming together, doing some swapsing around, which we haven't talked about yet, um, to go ahead and produce something he's going to tell us here in just a minute. It's going to be totally insane. First step in this whole process is to clean the giant 500 gallon container. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. <laughs> we're going to skip ahead. World record uh, potassium iodide catalyst dropping device. It is David's uh, mm -hmm. lifeguard stand. We put a hinge on the corner here and a support uh, board here with a trash can that's going to hold roughly 24 gallons of the catalyst. So we're gonna have five people easing the catalyst into this big giant container. Okay, so notice that they're putting in soap and food coloring dye. That is simply to go ahead and make it so that you actually have elephant toothpaste. Because if you just put potassium iodide and hydrogen peroxide, 35%, right, super concentrated. Well, it doesn't seem super concentrated, but 35% is super concentrated. Um, it'll burn your skin with that. It's so, so reactive. Um, and so what they're doing is putting this, the soap in there and the dye, the dye to go ahead and make it pretty. And then the soap actually is what traps the oxygen that is being released when you go ahead and combine hydrogen peroxide and potassium iodide. What happens is hydrogen peroxide naturally decomposes very easily so that you have water and oxygen gas. Um, so it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's going to happen anyway. Eventually, it's just this way faster when you add a catalyst. Catalysts simply cause a reaction to go faster. So that potassium iodide is going to go ahead and help kick that oxygen gas off um, so that the oxygen gas is actually trapped inside of the soap. And then it becomes foam, and then we see that color. So much dye. See, it's already foamy right now, just because of the the soap, right? And there's the potassium iodide, our catalyst to go ahead and increase the reaction rate, the decomposition rate of hydrogen peroxide. And so this is a very exothermic reaction as well. So we're going to note that when they mix, you're going to see a lot of steam coming off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and move us a little bit farther ahead. Right, we want to see it actually happen because that's the fun part. So that's just hydrogen peroxide decomposing faster than it normally would naturally because of our catalyst potassium iodide. Okay, notice the steam. All that steam is coming off because it's exothermic. It means it releases heat when hydrogen peroxide decomposes. So actually, if they had gotten caught in the foam, they would have burned themselves. Probably pretty badly, actually. This is hot. That's all just hydrogen, not hydrogen, oxygen gas just coming off. 
That's it. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Oh, yeah.